Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys an awesome tweak that you can get inside of Cydia called 3D Board. So yesterday I showed you guys a tweak called Deep End, which did exactly the same thing. It made your background uh, have sort of a 3D-like appearance, and it was free inside of Cydia. Well, today I'm showing you guys 3D Board, which was actually announced first and uh, it actually uses a different method to accomplish the same exact thing. Now 3D Board is $2.99 inside of Cydia and basically the difference is DeepEnd actually uses uh, your gyroscope so it will only work for the iPhone 4 and the iPod Touch 4th generation whereas uh, 3D Board actually just uses your accelerometer so it will work with any iDevice which is really really nice and really cool all you have to do to get it actually is just go inside of Cydia then once Cydia is loaded up you just go to the search tab and you just search for 3D board it is all one word and it is from the Big Boss repository so you just have to click on it and uh, you will be taken to it and you don't even have to add any special repos because Big Boss is there by default and as you can see it is two dollars and ninety nine cents right there so uh, once you have it installed all you have to do is just go to your home screen and once you exit out to your home screen you can go inside of the settings application and scroll down till you get to 3d board and then you can uh, enable it and you can change the depth that it uses so for First of all, I'm going to say that uh, a lot of people are actually having issues with 3D board. So what you're going to have to do is first respring your iDevice after you install it manually. You're going to have to do it with something like SB settings after it forces you to respring inside of Cydia. So you're going to have to respring twice. And then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to toggle on and off 3D board about three different times. So you just want to keep toggling it on and off. And then what you can do is just set the depth to whatever you like. So I'm going to demonstrate it with a very, very low depth and show you guys what it looks like with that. So here it is, and I'm really zoomed in on it there, and I'm just going to show you guys that you can barely even notice it. I think it looks really, really nice with a lower depth, though, because it just gives it a really, really awesome 3D effect. Uh, because you can actually almost, it almost looks like you can see behind the icons, which I really, really like that. And I think it looks just absolutely amazing. So I'm also going to just go ahead and change it here really quick and show you guys what it looks like with the depth all the way up. Uh, so now it is all the way up and it is really jittery like for instance if you're just jittering your phone or you're walking around with it then uh, it will look kind of weird uh, and it can get really really annoying but I'm just going to go ahead and get a close up here and show you guys what it looks like. Now uh, it doesn't actually really look that smooth. I actually think Deep End looks way smoother when it's uh, zoomed in more like that and when uh, all the settings on Deep End are turned all the way up I think it looks a lot better but uh, this one does work with all eye devices and I like it a lot when it's turned all the way down so uh, I like it better than Deep End in some aspects but in others uh, I don't think it's as good as Deep End. Also, I think this tweak actually only really works with uh, wallpapers that have a bunch of different things on it. Like, for instance, this bubble wallpaper. It works really well with that because it has a bunch of different reference points, so you can actually see the wallpaper moving. But I'm just going to go ahead and change the wallpaper really quick, and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when uh, I have a different, just normal, standard wallpaper. So now I've changed the wallpaper, and as you can see, uh, you can't even really notice that it's turning that much. I mean, if you focus on certain things, then you'll be able to notice. But other than that, I mean, you can't really tell. So that's actually why I like Deep End better. However, if you don't have an iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th generation, then you definitely want to look into getting 3D Board. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just show you guys 3D Board on my iPad. So here it is on my iPad, and I'm going to go ahead and get up close to an icon and show you guys. 
Now, I really don't like this tweak on the iPad. I don't think it works right, and it definitely jitters way, way too much. So I'm going to try and keep my iPad as still as possible and just show you guys how the background jitters. And I don't even have the depth turned up. As you can see, I'm just going to go into the settings app, and I don't even have the depth turned up all the way. When I do turn it up all the way, it's just crazy. Look at that. I'm not even really doing anything, and it's jittering basically out of control. So, uh... I don't really like it for the iPad and I don't recommend it. However, it can be kind of cool if you get exactly the right wallpaper. So uh, I'm going to demonstrate it with a wallpaper that I think works really well. So I have the depth turned almost all the way down and I have this earth wallpaper set and I really like it uh, on this one. It still kind of does that jittery thing, but other than that, it looks really nice on this earth wallpaper. But uh, I would really recommend getting it on like an iPhone or an iPod Touch as opposed to an iPad. Hopefully the developers can end up getting it worked out and they can fix uh, the iPad. But uh, overall, I really, really like it. And again, I uh, also like Deep End, but if you do not have a iPod Touch 4th Gen or an iPhone 4, then uh, you should definitely at least try out 3D Board. It's only $2.99 inside of Cydia, and as of now, it is a pretty great hack. So please comment down below and let me know what you guys think about this tweak and let me know if you think it's better than Deep End or if Deep End's better than this one. And as always, please subscribe and rate this video up. This is ICU signing out.